Hey budget gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me as I plant up a bunch of spring containers. There are 15 hanging baskets and 11 window boxes. So let's go. Have a window box or a hanging basket. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna start with collecting a bunch of plants. Welcome to greenhouse number one. I have snapdragons. There are, this actually, this is all snapdragons. I have some beautyberry. Everything in here was started from seed, by the way. There's Dusty Miller. So much to choose from. There's stock. I have asparagus down there, lots of pansies, and a lot of alyssum. So what I like to do is just go shopping in my own little greenhouse. I started everything from seed. It was very cheap to do this. So what I did already was I picked out a flat of plants that we're gonna need for our window boxes and hanging baskets. I'm gonna bring those over and then we're gonna dig up some plants from my yard. We are in my vegetable garden in my backyard and I have a few things growing here that we're gonna pick from. The first thing are a bunch of chives. So I'm just gonna dig them up I love chives in my container baskets or window boxes. They add a lot of nice height. And what the beauty about chives is you can buy one plant and then it will go to seed and you'll have a ton of plants. So not only can you use it in your kitchen with your dishes, you can also use it in containers and baskets. My vegetable garden is a temporary holding bed for the creeping jenny as well as the chives. And so I might not do that in the future, but that's what I did for this past year. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out a bunch of the Creeping Jenny and get those ready for my baskets and window boxes. Just like the chives, if you just buy one plant of Creeping Jenny, you'll end up with a ton of it. And in zone five, it is a perennial, which is really nice to be able to use perennials in your containers and hanging baskets, window boxes, things like that. And I have a lot of Creeping Jenny here and I have a lot of window boxes and hanging baskets. So I will definitely be using a lot of this up, which will be really nice. And it's free. In my flower beds where the lawn ends and the woods begin, I have a ton of Lamium. I use it as a ground cover and it definitely spreads and it's a great filler in containers and hanging baskets and pots. So just to thin it out of my flower beds, I like to pull some up and use it as display in all those containers. I'm just gonna thin out some of the lamium now so we can use that in our containers. Lamium also is a perennial in zone 5B where I live. If you're not sure if any of these plants are hardy in your zone, just do a quick search on the internet and you should be able to find out. What I love about Lamium is it has, this particular Lamium has a nice purple blossom to it. So not only is the var variegated leaf on the plant beautiful, but the blossom is equally as beautiful. Look at that, I thinned out some of my Lamium and now we're gonna use it up. I'll meet you back over to our containers and pots. We're gonna start with one of my many hanging baskets. I put all my hanging baskets on trees and they look so pretty. So with these hanging baskets, I'm gonna start with five pansies. And the pansies that I'm putting in here are called the mixed, they're just actually, they're just a mixed variety of pansies from seed that I collected last year in my yard. And even though they're not blooming yet, a lot of them have buds on them and should be blooming very soon. I'll definitely give updates on how all of these are looking as the spring progresses. Before I forget, I do like to add a little bit of fertilizer in each of the holes as I plant the pansies and any other plants I'm putting in these baskets and window boxes. I'm using a slow release fertilizer. You can use whichever fertilizer you like to use. And I also will be fertilizing these with a liquid fertilizer every one to two weeks. Because I started so many plants from seed, I do like to pack in the plants. And what I've found is that the plants really do thrive because they're not, you're not 
a lot of times when you buy plants already in hanging baskets, many times they're already pretty root bound. So I do enjoy making my own baskets, not only because it's quite frugal and cheap to do it this way, but also I feel like the plants do really well because I know what's going in them in terms of the soil and all that type of stuff. So I'm basically putting four on the outside and I'm using the potting mix that, that I made. I made a video showing you how I make my own potting mix. The hanging baskets were bought from a local store here, Ocean State Job Lot. And the, I do replace the cocoa liner about every two to three years based on just how they're looking. In the past, I did buy the liners from Ocean State Job Lot for about $4 a piece but I was able to find them online on Amazon for a dollar a piece. So I bought those this year. And to, honestly, I think that they're just as good as what I was buying in the store. So then I'm putting a fifth pansy in the center. I'm just breaking apart the roots a tiny bit in case they seem a little bit pot bound inside the pots they were in. They weren't terribly pot bound at all though. All right, so I have five pansies. The next thing I'm gonna do is put in two of the alyssum that I have. I'm just picking one side and putting one across from that side. Putting a little bit of fertilizer in the hole. This is the Tiny Tim alyssum that I started from seed. I grew all these under grow lights indoors, but now that, they're, that the weather's become warmer, they've been living inside of my greenhouse, which is unheated. What I like about the alyssum too is it's an instant pop of color as we wait for the pansies to start blooming. So I, the next thing I'm going to add to this hanging basket is some uh, lamium as well as the creeping jenny. And I'm just going to do one creeping jenny and one lamium. It's going to get pretty packed. I do plan on putting some summer flowers in these hanging baskets, but that's probably at least a month and a half to two months, two months from now. It's really when, just when the pansies start fizzling. And if they don't, if they don't fizzle, I'm just gonna keep them in there until they start, just until that time comes. So here's some of the Creeping Jenny. And I just kind of break it apart to make sure that the roots are going into the dirt and the little, the, the growth of the Creeping Jenny is sticking out. Eventually, this creeping jenny will start hanging from the basket. It'll be a really nice spiller. Tiny right now, but just give it some time. So I'm going to go ahead and keep adding to the amount of creeping jenny that I have here. I have so much in the garden, you saw it all, so I might as well pack it in this hanging basket. All right. That's a good amount there. Let's go ahead and get that planted, making sure all the roots go in. I wanna make sure that the creeping jenny is to, this, to the edge of the basket. And there it is. Okay. Across from the creeping jenny is where I'm gonna put the lamium. Tiny bit of slow release fertilizer. Same thing with the lamium, you just want to find where the roots are and kind of bunch it together so that the roots will be in the soil. This is already starting to, it's already looking like it's going to spill over very nicely in my hanging basket. You might find, you know, with, with these perennials, that you have to do a little bit of trimming. 
there's some old growth on here. So I'm just going to trim it off just so it looks a little tidier. Okay, so there's the roots right there. I'm going to go ahead and plant that. Part of gardening on a budget or being frugal is patience. And I have a lot of patience. I know I'm saving a lot of money, so I don't mind waiting. I have other beautiful things blooming in my yard. And that basket is full. Look at that. But give it time. Pretty soon, it's going to be much fuller. So let's work on one of the window boxes next. Off my bedroom balcony are four window boxes, and they're small size. So I'm going to go ahead and plant these up. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm making four holes, and in those four holes are going to go the celestial blue pansies. I'll be sure to pop up on the screen when I started each of these from seed and give you a picture just so you can see what they're going to look like. I added my fertilizer, my pansies. We got four that are going in. This one has a bud on it, very exciting. And I'm just planting them as deep as they were in their containers. All the plants that I'm planting. Not too deep, just deep enough. And when it comes to the potting mix in each of these containers, I want to leave about one inch from the top so that when it rains outside, the water doesn't just flow right off of them. Okay, I just backfilled a little bit. That's good. And the next thing I'm going to do is put in the three alyssum. And I want those basically in between each of the pansies. Add a little bit, slow, re slow release fertilizer. I can't get over the smell of sweet alyssum. Just go like that a little just to shake the soil around. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, since these are very small window boxes, I think what I'm going to do is do the Creeping Jenny. I just have to break it apart a little bit because it's a ground cover. It basically just keeps rooting itself everywhere. So I'm just going to break it apart, but I'm going to make sure that the roots go into the soil. I have so much of it, I really could, I, I really could add pieces here, 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 and here but it would take me so long to do all my window boxes and all my hanging baskets to that level. So I'm just gonna add, I think I'm gonna put them right here. So that way it fills out over on this side and then fills out on this side. The Lamium and the Creeping Jenny will even root itself as it grows. It'll just kind of root itself within the container and naturally fill it in, which will be really pretty. Let's backfill a little bit. I do plan on watering all of these containers when I'm done. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can follow updates on how everything is growing and how it's looking so beautiful as the season goes on. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just do the best you can with it. Most of these plants are very resilient and they'll be fine. And that's what that one looks like. Now let's work on the third window box. I'm going to work on the larger window box now. And I also want to point out that these are right off of my porches. I have a front porch, a back porch, and a side porch. The first thing we're going to do is make our holes. And I'm going to put the chives in here. Those are going to act as thrillers. They eventually will have a little blossom to them, purple color blossom, but I'm really adding them more just for their height. And I'm just going to split this part. Oh, it smells so good. Actually, I can see it's just barely wanting to, it has some buds on it. This one's definitely going to be deeper than all the other plants that I've been planting. People always say when they buy chives, oh, it goes to seed, it goes everywhere. Well, why not put it, put it to good use? Put it in your containers and pots. 
The next thing that I'm going to add are the alyssum, and I'm going to do three of them. So I'm going to have one on this corner, one on this corner, and one in the center. Add a pinch of fertilizer in each hole. Just going to place them. What I like about the alyssum is that even in the summer, they're still going to look beautiful. So as other plants in here are fizzling out, if I do want to take out the pansies, for example, I can still keep the alyssum in here. And so I'm going to go ahead and just put some dirt around them, get them placed in nice into their holes. And the next thing I'm going to do are add the pansies, and I'm putting the celestial blue pansies in here. So we have one hole here. I'm going to do one over here. I'm going to do three, four, and five. Might as well pack it in, right? Add some fertilizer. I made sure to give the plants some water before I started planting them. So like the pansies and the alyssum did have a nice drink of water. You don't want to stress the plants out before you start planting, put it, planting them away. Okay, now I'm going to just get the dirt around them, push it in. One of these pansies also has a nice big bud on it, so it's exciting. I just like to shake it just to get everything evened out in here. The chives might look a little sad, they're a little stressed, but they will perk right back up. Um, these are bigger window boxes, so I'm going to add some of the lamium in here as well as the creeping jenny. And it's a squirrely mess, <laughs> so you just kind of want to work your way through and take a look at it. So I'm going to break it in half right here. Same with this piece. I'm going to break this in half right here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on either side of this alyssum. Add a little fertilizer in each hole. I think I'm going to add a little bit more of the creeping jenny to that to this hole right here because I have so much of it. So again, it just goes on and on the root system. So find a place where you want to break it and put that right in the hole. Okay, same with this guy. I'm going to break this right here and there. Push the dirt around. Okay, next I'm going to do some lamium and I know that this is going to spread like this way and this way. So I'm going to put some of the lamium on the ends. I'll make some holes for the lamium. You can imagine this is really going to fill in nicely. The lamium is also a big squirrely mess. So I'm just going to pick through it and I'm going to find the sections that have roots. Let's see. Okay. So right here is one section that has some root. I'm going to break it right there. Put that there for a minute. This one has some root right there. So I'm going to put that here. Actually, I think I think this whole thing right here can go on this side. So I'm going to put this one over on this side, making sure I get the roots into the soil. Push it down. Same with this. Make sure the roots are in. And that's good. Why don't I go ahead and water all three of these in now? I have Miracle Grow in mixed in with my water. Time to get the window boxes and hanging baskets up. This is my back porch. I have a total of three window boxes that go here. 
So I already put the other two up, but I just wanted to show you this one. Now that I did the back porch, I've gone ahead and also put two window boxes on my side porch. Don't they look so pretty? I'm standing upstairs off the bedroom balcony, and yes, I have bird feeders up here. We have bear, so I don't want the bear to eat my bird seed, so I keep it up here. And I'm going to put the fourth window box up. I have three others, two on this side and one on the opposite side of where I'm standing. Time to get the window boxes on my front porch. Check out my cute little container that we put together in a previous video. There we go. Next, let's work on some hanging baskets. Time to start putting hanging baskets on my trees. I have hooks that I put on the trees and they just look so dainty. Looks like a little woodland garden here. This is my east side of the house and I have a hosta garden here. Hosta are just starting to peak up. So I have number two, we have hanging basket number three, hanging basket number four, and last but not least, hanging basket number five on this tree over here. Up the driveway on my right, I have two hanging baskets that go here. So let's get this guy up. What better way to welcome guests to my house than having flowers lining the driveway? So I have a whole bunch of hanging baskets. I have two down here at the bottom of my driveway. And now let's head up the driveway. Right now, this area gets quite a bit of sun. And as summer approaches, it's going to get a little shadier. The, these, the plants that are in these hanging baskets will be fine. And when I do switch them out, if I do, I'll probably put some impatience that I started from seed in the baskets. Here's another basket up here. Here's another one. Oh, and by the way, check out a woodpecker also likes this tree. So unfortunately, we probably will have to take this tree down. And if we do that, I will move this basket somewhere else. Zigzagging this way. We have another basket over here and check it out. Look at the little bud. Another day or two, it's going to be blooming. Continuing up the driveway, we have another basket here. Heading up, we got our last two hanging baskets. We have one over here, which is, by the way, right next to my nursery bed. I will be doing a nursery tour to show you all the plants I winter sowed two winters ago and what's in here. And then last but not least is the final hanging basket. I hope this gave you some inspiration and some motivation to get out there, make your own window boxes, your own hanging baskets. And if you didn't start any plants from seed this past winter, it is okay. There's always next winter, start a whole bunch of stuff and then fill up your pots, your hanging baskets with some beautiful things. In the meanwhile, I hope you make it a great day with gardening.